Chief, I want to talk to you about how to start a dispatch service from home, how to make money dispatching loads for trucks, cargo vans, hot shots, expediters, etc. I want you to listen till the end because I will be spilling a lot of beans and you will love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, or tea, or vodka. Now, let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to explain to you, step by step, how to start a dispatch service from home, how to make money dispatching loads for trucks, cargo vans, hot shots, expediters, and whatnot. First, you need to understand. Let's just first go back to Dispatch Business 101. Understand, what does a, a dispatcher do? So, truck or freight dispatchers in general are responsible for managing the scheduling and logistics for all pickups and drop-offs to and from customers. So, as a dispatcher, you will provide a vital service to a trucking and a cargo van uh, businesses by ensuring customer satisfaction and the efficiency of operations. Very important. So, as a dispatcher, you will find suitable freight loads for your clients to take on, and you do this by liaising with clients and negotiating prices. As a result, your clients maintains a steady workload and ensures a fair price for for uh, for a, for the loads that the client is hauling. Dispatchers will manage the schedule of the drivers the truck drivers or the cargo van drivers, okay? So this work involves arranging pickup and drop off times and dealing with delays and cancellations. So to maximize efficiency, dispatchers will often identify the optimal routes for the drivers. As a, as a dispatcher, you'll also be responsible for a multitude of administrative tasks. So this might include handling payments and processing invoices, updating records, collecting data from drivers, and conducting meetings with potential clients. So you basically are like the back office for the, the clients, for the, the cargo van or the truck driver. Very important. And so how much does it cost to start a dispatching business? Well, there is no one-size-fits-all answer to this question because the startup cost will vary depending on your geography and the services you offer. However, you can expect to invest anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000 in the startup cost, okay? So you really need to be clear about your responsibilities to know what, what a, a dispatch service does. And remember that you always need to understand that there is a clear distinction between a dispatcher and a freight broker. So the role of a dispatcher is sometimes confused with a freight broker, but there are two distinct roles with different responsibilities. So a freight broker works as a middleman between shippers and carriers without representing either side over the other. Very important. A dispatcher, in contrast, is aligned with the carrier and works on their behalf. So, as a dispatcher, you are not neutral. You are not a neutral party, and you, but, you are, but you also are not either an employee or contractor of the carrier. You are working for them. Okay, this is really important. So after understanding uh, your responsibilities as a dispatcher, you need to comply. Very important. There are requirements to be a truck or a cargo van dispatcher because the line, this line of work calls on a whole host of skills and expertise. First, you need to have excellent time management skills. Not only will you be managing your schedule and workload, but you also be handling the schedule of the truck drivers or cargo van drivers that you work with while striving to meet the time constraints or needs of clients. So you have a trifecta here, your own time, your client's time, in other words, the, the truck driver time and or the cargo van driver time, but also the time and constraints of clients, three, man, three areas. 
you also need to be highly organized and have good administrative skills. Communi communication skills are also vital in this role because you will work remotely. And you must maintain regular communication with uh, trucking companies, with cargo van companies, with expediters, drivers, and clients. Okay, so upholding effective communication with each of these groups will likely present some challenges when, when doing so remotely. So you will need to be highly skilled in communicating effectively and handling any issues quickly and appropriately. Speed of resolution is very important. Don't you procrastinate and, and keep like delaying the resolution of a very important case? You don't want to do that. Okay, what about qualifications or legal permits? So as a truck dispatcher or a cargo van dispatcher, you will need to ensure that you have all the relevant permits and training required of, call of uh, qualified dispatchers in your state. Most, most states will uh, require you to hold a high school diploma or, or work to obtain a dispatcher's permit. Remember though, it is a very competitive and complex industry, so some professional experience is likely to be extremely helpful. So consider looking into truck dispatcher or cargo van dispatcher training options with local businesses or associations before going ahead and starting your business straight off the bat. In addition, several websites also offer courses or training on dispatching trucks or cargo vans from home. And uh, independent truck or cargo van dispatchers must also have adequate insurance. And insurance is critical if you are using your own trucks or cargo vans and drivers to move freight, but you should also ensure that you are personally insured for any liability if you are working as a contracted dispatcher to an external cargo van or trucking company. Finally, be sure to check with your state's laws regarding dispatching permits. So local authorities regulate the industry and many require that dispatchers hold the relevant permits that enable them to operate within the state. And please, don't forget to draft the contract don't forget to set up your home office, okay? Because you have to be very, you have to be comfortable. You have to make sure that you have the right legal foundation to make sure that you are you are effectively carrying out the duties that you need to that you need to carry out for your dispatch service. Boss, the, the, the third thing I want you to do, I want you to do research. I mean, this industry is very competitive. You got to do research. As with any new business venture, you will need to conduct extensive market research to enable you to price your services competitively and gain a clear scope of the local market. So how do you do this? Well, there are a lot of ways you can do this. You want to start by looking at the other businesses providing similar services within your geography. Okay, and this could be your local geography, your neighborhood, your, 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 your county, your township, your city, or it could be in your, in your state. How much are they charging? Boss, talk to me about that. Have you done the research? How much are they charging? What kinds of, what kinds of, uh, what kinds of services are they offering? Okay. Do they appear to be successful? Do they appear to be legit? Can you offer, can you, I mean, what can you offer? You, I'm talking about you. What can you offer that will enable you to compete with them or even outmatch them? Because it's all about just beating the competition. You're not, you're not just uh, mimicking what they're doing. You're not just... Um, aping what they're doing but you have to do better you have to outmatch them okay so the thing here is that research is also a great way of identifying potential clients or customers by understanding the needs of local businesses you can tailor your pitches to fit their specific demands and that's what you want anyway you want to be in a situation where you are offering something that clients really want right off the bat okay and if need be please undergo initial training even if you feel you already have the skills needed for a successful truck or cargo van dispatcher, it's never a bad idea to invest in some training and set yourself off on the best possible foot. Depending on your location, this might even be a local law requirement before starting your dispatch service. Okay, And several online courses will tell you all you need to know about dispatching and running your truck or a cargo van dispatch business, okay? And many of these are reasonably affordable and will provide essential information. And clients are also likely to look upon this favorably because it will prove that you are highly, squil uh, highly skilled, okay? And qualified to work with them, okay? So the, the, the thing is, if you want to become a successful trucking or cargo van dispatcher, it's really important to find a mentor find someone who has been in the industry for many many years and who can provide you know good guidance because you need that 
and invest in your in your education constantly this has to be ongoing this is not a one-time thing you just don't do it and just forget about it no you have to constantly invest in your in your education boss the fourth thing i want you to do i want you to legitimize things you know the thing is you have to actually uh, make things legit get your paperwork in order so you want to register your business you can register as an LLC, limited liability company, as a C corporation, as a partnership, and uh, for tax purposes, you can as, you can actually file as a C corporation, or an S corporation, or even a partnership. Okay, and or you can remain a sole proprietorship. Now, if you remain a sole proprietorship, we are speaking here about doing business as you have to file a, a DBA. Okay, and. Uh, Depending on the, the structure that you have for your business, think about having articles of, of incorporation if you're a corporation or articles of uh, organization if you're an LLC, for example. Think about having a registered agent. What I'm telling you, those are regulatory, th th those are things that are required. Okay, you need to have a registered agent to whom or with whom the state, state authorities can uh, correspond about your business. Okay, make sure that you have an EIN. So you just need to go to the IRS website and uh, get your EIN. Those are really, really important. EIN stands for Employer Identification Number. That's your tax ID for your business. Okay, so whether this means obtaining the relevant licensing, ensuring that you are adequately insured, staying on top of all invoices, or just handling all of your admin tasks effectively. Remember that you need to actually show clients that you are legit. Okay, and uh, remember, you need to comply with the law at various levels. This means that you are also making sure that you are complying with tax laws at the uh, federal, state, and local levels. In case you are planning to have employees, ask them to fill out Form W-4 and Form I-9. Okay, so those are really important. And one thing I also need to say here is that when I talk about registering your business, I'm not just talking about registering your, registering your business in, um, in one state. You need to register your business in all the states where you will be operating. If you will be actually dispatching loads for clients in multiple states, then you need to make sure that you have a presence in those, in those states. You, you can register your business in one state, but, but for tax purposes, you need to make sure that you are complying with the laws, but with the tax laws for all the states where you are operating. This is very important. You don't need to uh, register in multiple states. No, you can be in one state, but make sure that you comply with the laws in all the states where you'll be operating. Let's talk about monetizing. So this is the money, money, money. So how much could you earn as a home-based truck or cargo van dispatching business owner? This is a good question. And the thing here is that it really depends. You know, independent dispatchers get paid depending on the uh, geography. Okay. So it's, it's important to understand that uh, some, of the, some dispatchers charge a flat rate per truckload or, or van load. But most charge a percentage of earnings for each load. And the rate of a 5 to 10% is standard in the industry. So it is really difficult to estimate how much you will earn as a truck or cargo van dispatcher. And income depends on your, speci on your specific business plan and whether you have chosen to work as a self-employed contractor or as an independent dispatcher with your own trucks and cargo vans and even drivers. Okay. It also depends on how many uh, trucks or cargo vans you are regularly managing and the type of freight you haul. So jobs are considered high risk because uh, sometimes you might your drivers or yourself might be handling explosives or sensitive uh, materials. OK, but those are highly paid because, uh, yeah, the risk, you know, higher risk, higher, you know, more money. Now, according to Zip Recruiter, the average annual salary for a home based truck dispatcher was a fifty six thousand dollars, fifty six thousand four hundred and eighty seven dollars. OK. And as of 2022, or $27 per hour. And so this is something you need to think about. And the thing here is that um, it really depends, again, and, and I want to show you another number that might be interesting. That's the what we got from salary.com. So basically, they said that the average truck dispatcher salary in the United States was uh, 52231 as of September 26th. And, so, and they said that, that the salary range 
typically falls between 44,000 and 61,000. Based on our experience and our research, I, we can say that as a dispatch service working from home, you can actually earn between 50 to $75,000. We have clients who actually make $73,000, one, one made $70,000 uh, $70, last year. So it really depends on the geography and it depends on uh, the, the fleet that you are managing, the number of, cli the number of clients that you have and uh, the, the rate that you are charging. So the flat rate that you are charging. So some of our clients who make uh, $75,000, they charge around 8%. So they, ch they charge 8% rate for a truckload or van load. So it really depends on a constellation of things. So if you have more questions about specific rates in your area, please include them in the in the comment section and we'll be very happy to answer you. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about how to start a dispatch service from home. And uh, one thing I want to say here is you need to start thinking about automating things, okay? You'll be, you'll be working from home. You'll be doing a lot of stuff from home, but you need to automate things so that you don't actually run around like a you know, chicken without a head and just uh, being stressed and have a... No, no, no. You, don't, you really want to balance your work and life, okay? Very important. So you want to invest in some dispatching software. Now, dispatching software can range in price from one thousand, from one hundred rather, to four thousand, depending on the on the required features and functionalities that you want. And most providers offer free or discounted trial periods so you can test the software before committing. Okay, and dispatching software could significantly significantly improve the speed and ease with which you can complete daily tasks. And you should you should actually consider dispatching service dispatching software rather because that kind of this kind of software will enable you to manage multiple schedules and track the where the whereabouts of each of your trucks or cargo vans okay in addition this software makes your job significantly more straightforward you can easily update schedules and communicate with drivers while maintaining customer satisfaction and ensuring any delays or amendments are relayed to the relevant parties as soon as possible okay this is important now those, this software can be pretty uh, expensive though so in addition to dispatching software you can get a load board subscription you can go to you can get dots or truckstop.com or one two three load board you can so you have a lot you, you can you can try convoy you can try uber freights okay and start making connections you need to have connections you need to uh, you need to have a net you have you need to a network in the industry okay so when we talk about our connections well you have a lot of uh, ways to actually increase your network but it's all about starting with the load board okay and when we speak about a dispatch a truck or cargo van dispatch software look at the ease of use look at the robust features look at um, the functionalities the modules Make sure that it really works for your niche, okay? See if the software has positive uh, reviews, okay? And look at how approachable the customer service team is. Very important. And so when we talk about and some of the advantages that dispatch software can, can give you you, you, you can simplify order entry. You have a built-in quoting engine. You, have, you can dispatch seamlessly. You have on-demand track and trace. You can sync every document. And here are some examples. You have connect team. Verizon Connects, Samsara, and Rose Rockets. Last but not the least, boss, you got to promote. Promotion is really important. I mean, you have done all the work. You have your dispatch service. You're working from home. Everything is fine. You're chilling. But you got to grow your business. You gotta grow your business. You got to market your business, okay? This is important. You gotta market yourself and your company effectively. And you'll need to invest in advertising to raise brand awareness and build a recognizable name for your business within the trucking and cargo van industry, okay? So you wanna network with uh, potential clients and consider offering discounted rates on their first orders. Because discounting is a really great way of proving your competence and they are happy with, uh, if they are happy with the, the service, 
they will likely use your services in the future. And so the bottom line is that reputa reputation and uh, word of mouth are a vital part of the success of any business, especially in the dispatch, uh, dispatching services, uh, I mean, in the dispatch industry. And what you want to do here is that you want to you want to actually market yourself and your business as a front runner in the trucking and cargo van dispatching industry by providing excellent service. Okay, so marketing your business is really important. Establish, think about establishing an online presence, a website. You know, having a website and creating accounts across various social channels. This is really important. Try to pick a website name that includes your business name, but it's short and easy to remember. Okay, so think about the homepage, the sales pitch, the likable CEO, because independent uh, dispatchers often like to hide themselves on their websites. But you, if you are, if you're likable, if you're approachable, people love that. Think about the um, the scarce the scarcity factor. You know, think about it. The, the, the FOMO, the fear of missing out. What are you offering that is really really great? What is the social proof that you are a competent business? Okay, and once you have this, you need to constantly promote your business. You got to constantly. Pro so you, we, we are speaking about social media very important you can invest in sponsored ads and share industry related news and tips online you can partner up with government agencies manufacturing companies and local organizations that can spread the word about your business okay take the time to build relationships within uh, the freight industry in general the trucking community the cargo van community okay build connections with trucking and cargo van companies in your states and your state and abroad and register on industry related forums and chat boards engage in conversations and market your business you have to market your business constantly okay and uh, so it's important to set up a website everything starts from setting up a website Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about how to start a dispatch service from home. First, you need to understand. Number two, you need to comply. Then research. Then legitimize, monetize, automate, and promote your business. Thank you so much. God bless you. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.